Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about my top favorite concealers. Um, this is not only drugstore, this is going to be also high-end concealers. And I have tried a lot, a lot, many concealers because of, you know, my under eye circles are literally like not the best and I need like a full coverage good concealer. Nothing too like medium to light coverage, but something full coverage. So yeah, these are my favorite concealers and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And join the Pineapple Squad. And if you're a returning subscriber, then hi, welcome. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I guess I'm going to start from most... Uh, inexpensive to more expensive concealers so I guess I'm gonna do that let me just put them in the right order okay, so first I'm gonna talk about the um, LA girl pro concealers and this is the two that I have you guys know that I'm literally obsessed with the corrector from LA girls I do have a video which did really really good with the views and I'm super super proud of that I got those views for this concealer and I'm gonna leave it down below if you want to see it but yeah this is the LA girl pro concealer um HD high definition concealer and this one is an orange um, orange corrector and then I also have this one and this is a medium beige use the orange concealer to correct my under my uh, to correct my dark circles um, and then I do put this one on top just because I don't want to mix the different concealer consistency sometimes but yeah these two are really really good and I believe they're only like $2.99 um, at Sally's Beauty Supply that's where I get them or you could also get them on Amazon um, so I'll leave it down below if you want to buy them but yeah this is such an amazing concealer um, I think that has to do a lot with your skin tone not all the skin types like this concealer I know some skins that can literally not take this concealer it creases like crazy so just find out and if it's gonna be a good match for you but yeah this orange one I literally absolutely recommend it it's really one of my favorites and now I'm gonna talk about this concealer which I never thought I was gonna like just because of the price and this is the elf HD concealer and it looks like this it has like a little a little wand like this one this is the creamiest concealer uh, out of all of them that I'm gonna mention today literally the creamiest and this concealer um, it does crease just a little bit but if you set it down with the powder and if you um, moisturize your under eyes it should increase at all at least to me it doesn't and I just love the finish of this concealer it's so creamy and it's like so smooth like I don't even know how they did this and I believe this is three dollars it's not even five dollars it's like three dollars and the consistency is just literally out of this world like you blend it in and it just leaves your under eye looking so smooth um the bad thing is that they don't have a lot of shades of this one I believe they only have like three shades and the one I have is in medium they don't have like a tan color I don't think they do um probably online but I haven't checked but I really, 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 really do like this concealer and I just love, it's so creamy. Like, I feel like you guys could compare this to the, probably to the NARS Creamy Concealer because it's literally so smooth and yeah, I really like this one. And the next concealer that I want to talk to you guys about, this is the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer. Just like the Photo Focus Foundation, this concealer is absolutely bomb. Imagine the foundation in a concealer is pretty much what it is that is my favorite foundation right now is the wet and wild one i literally finished like three bottles already i went to puerto rico and i bought one and it's gone already and i just can't believe how fast i go through that foundation and this concealer is literally the same thing as that foundation it's so creamy they have really good shades to be honest and yeah i really do like it it's five dollars like it cannot get better than that and yeah, I've really been liking this one. And the next concealer is this Maybelline concealer. This is the first concealer I've used ever. And it's just crazy how I still use them like so many years later. And I have mines in Cafe. And this is a little dark. I have to go pick another one up. I have like two of these actually. I just don't know what the other one is. I usually mix them together because this one is a little bit dark for me right now. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Just like the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Absolutely love. Two of my favorites and I literally am obsessed with them. Um, and I believe this is also like $6 if you go to Target or Walmart. Which is such a good deal. I know that I'm going to mention two high-end concealers. But if you guys just use one of the ones that I mentioned... They work the same. Uh, I do love them because I wanted to try like a high-end concealer, but I don't think you really need to go 
go out and buy high-end concealer just to get like a flawless makeup application i don't think you need one but the first high-end one i'm going to mention is this urban decay naked skin concealer the consistency of this concealer is literally out of like this world like it's crazy the consistency is so nice and it just covers everything it's full coverage and it blurs out your under eyes like it has something that i feel like it moisturizes your your under eyes at the same time and this is my second bottle buying it and it has not let me down yet they have way too many shades when sometimes i'm just like can i just get like light medium dark like that's it because they have so many shades which is like so crazy to me but yeah i've really been loving this naked concealer um i feel like this is the one that i will just go to if um if i'm a sephora this is definitely the one that i will buy in my opinion i really do like it and now okay so for last i'm gonna talk about the tarte shape tape concealer i should have said this one before the naked one because this one is more cheaper but anyway <laughs> this is the tarte shape tape concealer i'm sure you guys already have heard of the this concealer because it's like so popular right now it's like absolutely crazy and this concealer it's so full coverage it's literally crazy and it's such a good concealer i love this concealer i bought this concealer i think like a year ago and i still have product like i still have like do you guys know the look at the difference between th this concealers look how big and fat it is like it's literally so chubby and I absolutely love that and the coverage is out of this world it doesn't crease to me at all um, I don't think there's anything wrong with this concealer um, the only thing that I will say is wrong is the shades they don't have a, like a darker one than this one um, I have to check if probably they came out with new ones but they didn't have my exact shade yet when I bought this one but I definitely have to make sure and I literally have been obsessed with all these concealers so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please let me know if you guys want to go out check one of these concealers um i really do love all of them at its own like they're all very different but i love them all at the same time and i feel like i can't do my makeup without all of these around me but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy and let me know if you if you like this kind of videos as well because i will definitely do more of these for you guys Thanks so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye guys.